So we're in Microsoft Excel and we want to find out if a number is between two values. So I've got two scenarios. First scenario is I know the lower value is going to be in column B and the upper value is going to be in column C. And I want to find out if this result is within the lower and the upper value. The second scenario is where we want to find out whether result three is within the range that the other results gave but the lower and upper values are not in a particular column. They're mixed. So let's go back to the first example. Now to achieve this, you use the AND function. So AND allows you to run multiple logical tests simultaneously. And if all the tests are met, then AND will return true. So my first test would be, is the result greater than or equal to the lower value. And then my second test would be, is the result less than or equal to the upper value? If I close the bracket and press enter, and then copy this down, you see that I get true and false results. Now, if I want something other than true and false within the cells, then I put the and within the if function. So AND becomes the logical test within my IF function, and then I can specify a value for TRUE. So I might say something simple like YES, and then my value of FALSE would be something simple like NO. I'll copy that down, and now I get YESES and NOES. So that's the first example. Let's go on to the second example. So here I want to find out whether the final result is within the same range that the other results gave. But I don't know which of the results is going to be the higher result or the lower result. So I can use the AND function again for this. But what I need to do in the first instance is work out whether result 3 is greater than or equal to the smallest of the other results. So I would say, is result 3 greater than or equal to and to work out the minimum value of these two values, I would use the min function. Now, when I use the min function, I can either select a range, and that works if the cells are consecutive, or I can state one cell address, then a comma, and then specify another. So for me, I can just select both cells as a range. So my second test would be, is this result three value less than or equal to the higher of these other two results. So what I would do is I'd say, is D3 less than or equal to the maximum value within this range? Close the bracket, and then I close the bracket again for AND, press ENTER, and then copy this down. And again, if I want to say yes and no rather than true and false, I'd put this within the IF function and I'd specify my value of true as yes, and my value if false as no. Copy it down, and I get my yeses and nos. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.